Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Arkham Asylum Batman action figure. Is this action figure a paragon of resound and perfection or is it characterized by insipid mediocrity or should it be relegated to the dumpster? In the form of a quantitative score, I have to raise this action figure to be a 7 out of 10. Is it impeccable? Does it hit those cylinders? Is this a quintessential Batman Arkham Asylum action figure? Well, let me just demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. This action figure is meritorious, is stupendous, however it does not offer as much value as an $8 Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figure. I utilize the $8 Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figures as a benchmark for comparison of value. Those action figures, if you recollect, came bundled with a comic book and a Build-A-Figure piece for a meticulously detailed, robust, colossal, stupendously detailed behemoth of a 14 to 16 inch Build-A-Figure. In spite of this figure commanding a price point 250% more than an $8 Toby's Marvel Legends action figure or an $8 DC Universe Classics action figure, this action figure lacks a Build-A-Figure piece as well as a comic book. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I hope that you're not dismayed. What are these action figures redeem in qualities? Well, just like a Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figure, this action figure has latitude for dynamic posability. He's sporting 22 points of articulation, even though that's not on par with the articulation of a Toy Biz Marvel Legends action figure that has 30 to do 40 po 30 to do 40 points of articulation. It still provides substantial latitude for dynamic possibility. This action figure of Batman emulates his video game counterpart. Batman is able to strike trepidation in the hearts of his adversaries. He has a solemn look He's able to maintain his composure, and he looks like he's poised for battle. He looks like he's ready and rearing to enter the fray and give his adversaries a much-needed trouncing. This action figure has a high-quality sculpt, high-quality paint applications, high-quality shadings, high-quality textures, and it comes with a myriad of accessories such as two battle rings, a canister, and a grapnel launcher, as well as a base and an art card. But for the $20 price point, if I'm paying 250% more the retail price of the Tobias Marvel Legends action figure, I should expect 250% more value. So it should come bundled with a build a figure piece, at least another figure, fisted hands, more batterings, more accessories, perhaps some chattering teeth that the Joker came bundled with. His accessories are not scant nor exiguous, but um they should be plentiful. at the $20 price point. Four accessories in conjunction with a base and an R card is not enough in my opinion to vindicate, to warrant, to mayor spending $20 plus tax on a Batman action figure that is nearly homogeneous to the $8 DC Universe Classics Batman action figures of the past. Now of course this one stands seven inches tall so he towers over DC Universe Classic Batman action figures but um that extra inch of height doesn't vindicate paying 250% more of the retail price of a DC Universe Classics action figure to have a Batman figure that's one inch taller at least that's my perspective and my input on this They could have added more points of articulation. They could have had finger joint articulation. 
articulated toes. For $20 plus tax, he should have came bundled with Nightwing or Alfred and a build a figure piece. That would have exemplified value, unprecedented value. Sometimes Toy Biz would bundle two figures for the price of one. But my final verdict is going to be 7 out of 10 because he's akin to the um, Batman Arkham Asylum action figures of the past. He's not disparate from them other than having solo differences relative to predecessor action figures. This action figure may be a bit nuanced, but it's not enough to entice me to want to buy it at the $20 price point. If you were an $8 action figure, I'd more than likely rate him to be an 8 out of 10, just because he's so similar to um, other Batman Arkham Asylum action figures. They should make new variants of Batman and not um, re-release figures that are nearly homogeneous to the Batman action figures of the past. So I'm rating him a 7 out of 10. He should have came bundled with more Batarangs, an Alfred action figure, a Nightwing action figure, a Build-A-Figure piece, a comic book, some Chattering Teeth, Fisted Hands, there's a lot more value that could have been added in. I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. I hope that you were regaled and bedazzled. Even though this action figure has merit, I'll more than likely pass unless the price substantially plunges into the abyss. I already have the DC Direct Batman Arkham Asylum figures that I was able to buy in a lot for a discounted price and um, there's no need for me to replace those. I hope that you found this video to be intriguing. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.